Hari Om. We are back with another story from, again from the Chandogya Upanishad. Like I said, Chandogya Upanishad has lots of stories in it. So this story is again a dialogue. Almost every Upanishad is a dialogue between a Guru and a Shishya. And in this story, one of the characters, the Shishya, is very, very well known. And if I do a certain action, everybody will be able to guess who it is. Now, this is a dialogue between Narayana, Narayana. I am sure all of you would have guessed who that is. Yes, it is sage Narada who is the disciple here. And his guru is the Jnani, Brahma Jnani, Brahmanishtha, Sanat Kumara. Actually, both Narada and Sanat Kumara are the Manasaputras of Prajapati Chaturmukha Brahma. Anyway, we are all familiar with Sage Narada. He is the closest to Bhagwan Vishnu and he can roam around all the worlds at will, isn't it? And he is always involved in singing the Lord's name and trying to help people all over, whichever loka it may be. And is, he has his own ways of helping. A person like this, a sage like this, you would wonder why he ended up being a shishya. Now it so happened that sage Narada, in spite of being so learned and such a great devotee, he felt some kind of emptiness some kind of incompleteness, a sort of helplessness, a sort of sorrow that just would not go away. And then he realized that he needed some kind of upadesha and this had to be in the form of knowledge. So he went to Sanat Kumara and approached him with complete humility, leaving behind all that ahankara of having known so much of having been a great devotee. He left behind that ahankara and approached Sanat Kumara and said, Bhagavan Adhihi me. Please advise me. Please give me the Upadesha. Please give me the knowledge. Sanat Kumara said, O Narada, you tell me all that you know. Once you do that, from there on, whatever knowledge has to be given, I will give it to you. So, Sage Narada said, I have studied all the four Vedas, the Itihasa, all different Shastras, be it the Nakshatra Shastra, Nakshatra Vidya, Bhuta Vidya, this Vidya, that Vidya, Mathematics, the Fine Arts, Kshatra Vidya, all sorts. He gives a big list. And he says, Despite all that, I have some sort of incompleteness. I have some sort of sorrow and I want that to go away. And I have heard that great jnanis like you, Brahmanishthas like you, have the answer to such an issue. And so I have come to you. Please impart to me that knowledge. So Bhagavan Sanat Kumara looked at him, smiled and said, O Narada, the huge list that you have given me are just names. What you know are just names. Go and meditate upon this name as the Brahman. So Sage Narada said, okay. And he meditated upon Nama. And to the extent that he could, right? Nama has its limitations. So, when he was stuck at that limitation, he came back and asked the Guru, Bhagavan, is there anything greater than the Nama? Sanat Kumara smiled and said, of course, and that is Vak or speech. Meditate upon Vak as the Brahman. So, again, Sage Narada went and meditated upon Vak as Brahman. Again, Vak has its limitations. 
and when he was stuck he came back and asked his guru bhagavan is there anything greater than walk and sanat kumara smiled again and said yes o narada and that is the manas so again he went and meditated upon the manas as the brahman so this went on and there is a big list of uh, the various uh, steps you can say where this is greater than this this is greater than this this and each one sage narada was asked to meditate upon so we saw how it started with the nama and then he said speech or walk is greater than nama and then he said the manas is greater than speech or walk right and after that he goes on to say that the power of sankalpa is greater than the manas so meditate upon sankalpa as brahman then again sage narada was stuck with in its limitations and then bhagavan sanat kumara said that the chitta is greater than the power of sankalpa now what is greater than the chitta it is dhyana over something and what is greater than dhyana that is the vijnana or the intellect or the understanding power and then what is greater than the intellect that is bala or strength what is greater than the bala that is anna because it is from anna that one gets bala what is greater than anna that is apaha or water what is greater than water that is fire that is light or heat and this goes on because after uh, the stages it is space and then what is greater than space sanat kumara says it is smara and what is greater than smara bhagavan says that is asha or the desire and then what is greater than desire he says it is prana because unless prana is there from where can the desire come all right what is greater than prana now and there it comes to the final aspect and bhagavan says that is sukham and you have to meditate upon sukham as brahman and at this point bhagavan sanat kumara makes a beautiful statement and he says bhuma vai sukham this sukham is none other than the brahman and it is referred to as the bhuma if you see the two words brahman means brahat the biggest the largest and bhuma means very expansive the most expansive so basically to say that this brahman has no limitations and where there are no limitations there there is the bliss where there are limitations alpe na sukham whatever is finite there is no real joy there it is the infinity which is bliss this was the upadesha for what sage narada had asked sanat kumara sage narada had had another question and he said in what is bhuma established and sanat kumara the guru goes on to say o narada the bhuma need not be established in anything else because there are no two entities at all here so bhuma is established in its own glory and there is a beautiful word used in upanishad and that is called swa mahimni so bhuma is established in its own glory and then sit sanat kumara goes on to explain one more aspect and he says a jeeva an individual does whatever he does because of the joy that is in in it the joy in doing it that is the motivating force that is the uh, that is what propels a person a jeeva into action now what is the source of that joy the source of that joy o narada is this bhuma bhuma the infinite bhuma the infinity is the source of that bliss because of which man is propelled into action an individual is made to act he takes up action and the whole list 
you can go backwards prana desire and that whole lot till we come to nama everything finds their purpose every one of those finds its purpose in this sukham and what is this sukham this sukham verily is bhuma the infinite and to conclude his upadesha bhagavan sanat kumara addresses narada and says o narada this bhuma is what is to be known because bhuma is that where nothing else is there to be seen nothing else is there to be heard nothing else is there to be known nothing else is there to be experienced and this bhuma being established in its own glory is the only purpose of an individual to know this bhuma to experience this bhuma is the very purpose of this life and that is the answer to all the queries any one might have and then there is a specific advice also given to sage narada bhagwan sanat kumara says o sage narada control your senses purify your mind in that pure mind there is a constant awareness of that infinite there is a constant awareness of the infinity of bhuma and there lies the bliss there lies the joy beyond the sorrow beyond the incompleteness beyond that helplessness that shoka which you were talking of and that that bhuma is what one must meditate upon so sech narada had found the answer he meditated upon bhuma and there he was a fulfilled person he had no more questions he had no more desires he had nothing else that needed to be known this is an interesting dialogue between sage narada whom we know so very well in a different context and we see how in spite of all of that knowledge all of that devotion that small bit of helplessness bothered him and how important it is for one to drop the ego of having known so many things if one truly wants to feel fulfilled if one truly wants to go beyond sorrow one must drop all of that approach a guru with humility and whatever the guru says meditate upon that meditate 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 with complete shraddha in the guru's words and there is no doubt that one will experience this bhuma and the word bhuma is very beautiful as it is all inclusive it encompasses everything it refers to the aadhara of everything that we see and experience and in another sense there is nothing apart from it so all that is is bhuma and bhuma vai sukham and what is it that you and i are constantly looking for it is that sukham and the most precious advice is that i am that very bhuma i am that very infinite one i am that very infinity and i am that very bliss that i am seeking for so being inspired by this story let us also like sage narada control our senses purify our mind and dwell in that constant awareness of bhuma constant awareness of the infinite and may we also experience that sukham which is bhuma vai sukham and understand that alpe na sukham asti bhuma eva sukham may we all find that bhuma in ourselves and be complete and fulfill the purpose of having been born as a human being until we meet again for another story from another upanishad hari om